É, é, tchau, adeus, André. Welcome to the wonderful world of Natal. It's the capital of the northeastern state of Rio Grande do Norte and home to an endless supply of incredible coastline. With that being said, my plan for day one was simple. Grab a bike from the hostel and go explore as much of the sun and sand as possible within the city limits. I started in the beautiful village of Ponta Negra where I relaxed along the water and took in all the sights and sounds of a day at the beach. Determined to see more of the city, I made my way through traffic and past the stadium to a long sandy stretch on the other side of town. The beach over here is great because there's a long reef that runs parallel to the shoreline which makes the calm water perfect for swimmers and kite surfers. I rode all the way down to the end of the strip to check out Fort Dos Es Magos, which was built at the end of the 15th century and was the first milestone of the city. Although it was closed when I got there, you can walk around the perimeter and get some great views back in the downtown skyline. As the sun sat on day one in Natal, I found a good spot along the beach to enjoy fresh coconut water and refuel for an epic day too. Not before a little Brazilian twerking, of course. <laughs> Bright and early the next morning, I headed out of town with a group of travelers to experience a day of buggy riding in the famous sand dunes of Brazil. After an incredible day playing in the sand, we ended it all with a swim in the ocean, capping off a perfect weekend in the tropical playground of Natal. Until next time, travel deeper. This isn't good. We're stuck in the Pantanal wetlands. They call it wetlands because it rains a lot. This is the result. Cattle trucks, stuck. We are stuck. Let's go help. 